Hi guys, my name's Rahina. I'm the founder of Asia Glam and you're here at Asia Glam Academy. So today we're going to be creating one of my favorite looks, cut the crease Arabic look. It's so popular. A lot of clients want this look and I thought, you know what? I'm going to teach you guys how to create this look. I've got my base done already. So I've used um, MAC uh, NC42 for my base and then powdered. What I will now do is create my eyebrows and the eye and then of course we'll move down to our face. I will use the dip brow in Promade. This is a gel formula product. I don't use a lot. I put it at the back of my hand and I'm now gonna break it down slightly and apply that on my eyebrows. Start filling the eyebrow in. On the inner eyebrow, you want to keep it light and just draw soft strokes of hairline. So you're just wisping it, literally just wisp it out. There you go, that's our eyebrows. Nicely defined. So now that frames our face. Now moving on, we're going to have to prep our eyelid. I will use the paint pot in Painterly. To do that, I'm going to use my concealer brush. Apply that on my complete eyelid and then you can give it a soft blend. A little bit underneath as well, because of course we do want the eyeshadow underneath to hold. Now what I will do is get a medium brush and I will now apply my base colour. The base colour that I'm going to apply will be the MAC called Naked, so it's a pigment. It's a very natural, fresh nude. And I'm going to apply that on my complete eyelid and I'm literally just dabbing it on to my lid so I'm not kind of creating any swirls right now. For cut the crease look, we need to create the actual cut the crease. So I'm using my brown Estee Lauder crayon pencil. You can use any brown pencil. We draw it from our inner eye, taking it into the crease. It's like a S shape and then you want to wing it out towards your eyebrows. Always draw it light and then you can build it up. And now I'm going to just thicken it out slightly because I will go over it with the eyeshadow. I'm going to get my eyeshadow RMK Ingenious Number no. 7 Brown Mocha with my pencil brush. Go over the pencil, create a bit of shadowing. Blending it in very lightly. So what we will do now is go with a lighter colour above that dark brown that we've got. So I'm going to use my fluffy brush, the colour that I'm going to use from the Anastasia Beverly Hills Cinnamon from the contour palette. Just above the crease, above the darker brown that I've applied. So you can see it's like a lighter um, brown, a little bit more red. So now what we're going to do is create um, our tip with the highlight. We're going to go for our Makeup Forever highlighter, number five. So it could be used for your eyes or your face. So we're going to use that on our tear dot and we're going to use it also on our brow bone. Okay, so now we're going to move on to the eyeliner. I will be using Inglot number 77. I really like this product because it's really smooth, very, very long lasting. Starting from centre, taking it out and then come in now to create this wing from the bottom lash line you angle it towards your eyebrows like the end of the eyebrow and then you connect it it's going to get a little bit complicated we will create a second wing we'll draw a second line we will also go onto our water line I'm creating a wing on my inner eye as well. So I call it the eagle eye. What we will also do is create another line here. And we'll thicken the base slightly so it blends in well. Because it's under your eye, it does crease. So you have to take your time and do this very carefully. Okay, you do want to keep your tips nice and pointy. Of course, you can make it longer if you want. But for me, that's good. 
So now what we're going to do, we're going to smoke this look up. So the black eyeshadow I'll be using is the Aram K Ingenious. I will use it on the crease, take it up onto the S. Focus on the outer edge, just in small circular motion. So it gives us a bit of definition, as you can see. It's created a bit of a smoke for us. So I'm going to use a little bit of it underneath as well. So a little bit more black, just to kind of get rid of the defined line, because the line can look too perfect. And we do want to have a bit more of a kind of smoke to it. To straighten your bottom line, you can also use a little cotton bud and you can literally just drag it. If you prefer to have it a little bit more smoky, you carry on adding more black. And I'll just give it a final blend. Now, what I will do, you guys see this gap here and there? So I'll put a tiny bit of white in there. I'll be using a MAC Cream White on my concealer brush. It's a foundation, but you can use a white pencil. You don't want it white, white. You do want to have it a little bit more grey just because it can look too much otherwise so yeah that's all the colours applied of course if you do want to kind of glamorise it a little bit more with a bit of glitter and stuff on the lid or on the brow bone you can do I'm just going to touch up on my highlight colour slightly the highlight of course we use the number five in the makeup forever make it a little bit more vibrant Okay, so now I've got my eyelash curler, okay, and I will curl my eyelashes. Don't really have much, but you literally get the eyelashes and you lift it slightly and leave it for a few seconds. So I'm going to use the mascara number one, Yves Saint Laurent. Apply it on the root of my lash and just literally wiggle it down to the root, taking it out just to cover any powder or any fallouts on my lashes. Of course, you can apply it on your top lashes as well as your bottom lashes. For the eyelashes, I'll be using Huda Beauty Lashes in Samantha. And it's pretty full on, but I do love the whole kind of glamorous look. And I have to say, with the Arabic look, it looks absolutely amazing. So I'm now going to use the Duo Glue to apply my lash. Leave the Duo Glue on for about 30 to 60 seconds for the glue to go tacky. And then you can apply. So don't blow on the lash. You can just kind of wave it around slightly. I always position it how I want it first, then stick it down and then get a cotton bud and press it in. The glue's drying right now. So in the meantime, I'll actually clean my eyebrows. Okay, so we can go over our lashes as well with the mascara to make it a little bit more dramatic. I'm now gonna get my Ilamasca liquid eyeliner, cover the glue areas where there's slightly touch of glue that is showing there we go that's the eye look so what I will do now is any fallouts that I've got I will just clean it out I need to quickly do this side and then I'll come back and we'll show you the full face and we'll start doing the highlighting and contouring hi guys so I'm back I've done the other side now so as you guys can see I've got cut the crease Arabic look so it's all winged out eyeliners and of course I've added some bottom lashes for extra drama just because I love the whole glamour okay so what we're now gonna do is we're gonna color correct and also contour and highlight and then of course finish up with uh, our, our lips so let's get started first of all I'm going to use the MAC Pro Conceal palette the color that I will use is the orange okay so I'm just gonna use that with my concealer brush so of course as you guys may know um, the orange is a corrector so where you've got slightly uneven skin tone it will just help it And now I will use, to contour, I will actually use the cream Elamasca products. So I'm just going to get a tiny bit of product out. It's like a P dot size and I'm going to put it at the back of my hand. I'm going to use the lighter shade to apply under my eyes. It doesn't have to be perfectly neat because we are going to blend. We're also going to use this on our forehead. We're going to also use it on our chin. We're also going to use it under our contour. 
center of our nose. The reason why you're highlighting is you want to open up those areas and make it look more spacious, give it more light. So let's apply the darker shade and I'm going to use the other side of the same brush. Okay, so we'll apply that on our cheekbone. We will apply some on our temple and take it slightly further up as well onto the uh, top of the forehead. Someone who has got a small forehead, you might not want to use it at the top, to be honest. You might not need it. And then, of course, jawline. It's quite important. So you want a nice, defined jawline. I'm just going to go over and just add a little bit more colour to it because I want it quite structured. This is how... Oh, actually, my nose. That's the last bit. So this is, this is what you want before you start blending. Okay. So I'll let you guys have a quick look. So what you want to do is you want to damp your beauty blender. Okay, so I've sprayed some water on it. And what you might also want to do is spritz, fixing spritz. Just apply some of the spritz on your face. It just kind of dampens your face a little bit. So when you blend, it's much easier to blend because the product can sometimes go a little bit hard. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is start blending. Blending all my light areas first. I really like the cream contour just because it is quite dramatic, but you get a nice finish, really nice dewy finish. Okay, so now that I've kind of blended my light areas, I'm now going to move on to my darker areas. Afterwards, what I will also do is define it with my Anastasia contour palette, define the contour a bit more. And when you're blending, you want to kind of sculpt it. Okay, so as you guys can see, it's all blended now. So what I will now do is powder under my eyes with the banana powder. Just get a tiny bit. Now I've got my powder brush and I will use that under my eyes. Just use it in my lighter areas. I will now go and get my contour from the Anastasia Beverly Hills palette. This is espresso and this is cinnamon. So I will mix them both together and I will define my contour. and also the nose as well. And the jaw is very, very important. Of course, the hairline. So the best way to do it, I would say, do it in a motion of three. So that's contour. Now we're gonna go on to the blusher. I'm gonna use from this palette, number six, from the Yves Saint Laurent. Apply it on the apples of the cheeks and you could wing it out slightly. Okay, let's add some highlight. The Charlotte Tilbury on the center of the nose. We will apply it on the top of the cheekbone, above the lips as well. It's very, very nice, this highlight. It's very subtle. And now, to finish the lips off, I will use the lip liner. This is number seven, again, from Yves Saint Laurent. As you guys can see, it. I've got a bit of foundation on my lips already to give me a nice face. It's like a peachy brownie colour. So I'm just going to shade it in a little bit, on the outer edge. Break the ombre effect slightly. Okay, so the lipstick that I'm going to use is from the Cinderella movie. This is Luster Royal Ball Cinderella. It's like a very, very sheer nudie pink. I like it, it's really nice. Okay, so to finish the lips off, I've got Bare Minerals Moxie Lip Gloss. It's like a nude shade. So, I'm going to use that in the centre of my lips. Let's have a look. Just blend it in together slightly. Here we go, all done. So this is the look guys. 
This is the Arabic cut the crease um, look. Of course, I've created this with very natural kind of colors, which is earthy kind of browns, um, nudes, and tiny bit of black on there as well. And the main thing is the eyeliner of this look. So I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, tutorial. And if you like it, make sure you subscribe. And uh, we are on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Make sure you subscribe as well. And I can't wait to see you guys soon. Goodbye for now.